In this video, we're going to be looking at how to deal with an exception access violation in the Bernina embroidery software. This is referring to Bernina's documentation, fatal error exception access violation. So sometimes you get a box that pops up when you try to open your software, or sometimes your software will just stop working. Um, the box that pops up usually says exception access violation. And these are three ways you can fix it. Uh, the first one and the easiest is to run the revert utility, which is built into all the Bernina embroidery software. To do that, you will navigate to your start menu. You'll now uh, go to the folder for your embroidery software. If you have Artlink, you'll have an Artlink folder. Um, I have Bernina embroidery software 8, so I'm going to go to that folder. And we're going to look for revert. So we're going to click on revert, and we're going to say we want to revert our defaults. You can also revert your templates. Normally, that's not what's causing the problems. We're going to say OK. And it won't pop up saying it's done it or anything. It's just it's completed. Uh, at this point, you would try opening your software and see if it works. If it doesn't work, the next thing is to delete anything that's in your recovery folder. To get there, you'll use your file explorer down at the bottom. If you don't have this icon down at the bottom, you can use your start menu to either find it on the side or look for my computer. You just want to get into where you can see all your files. I'm going to go to my C drive, which has all my programs and files installed on it, or that's where they live. And I have two program files. Uh, I know that mine, uh, my Bernina folder lives in my program files x86, so I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to go to my Bernina folder. I'm going to go to my embroidery software 8. If you have Artlink, you'd be going to your Artlink folder. I'm going to double click. I'm going to go to my recover folder. Double click on this. And mine's currently empty. If there's anything there, select it and delete it using the delete key on your keyboard. And then try and open your software. If that doesn't work, the third option is to restore your defaults, basically. To do that, I'm still in here, so I'm just going to click on my Embroidery Software 8, or you'd click on your Art Link, or your Embroidery Software 7. We're going to go to the uh, bin file, B-I-N, double click on it, and I'm going to look for defaults. So I'm going to scroll down until I find defaults. Here it is, and it's .dfl. I'm going to right click on that, and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to my Embroidery Software 8 folder by clicking on it in the address bar and then go to the RES folder. And then not hovering over anything, I'm going to hover over in the side area. I'm going to right click and paste. It'll say that there's already a file named defaults.dfl. What do you want to do? And we want to replace the file in the destination. And then you'll try and open your software again. If it doesn't open at that point, you might need uh, new dongle drivers. Uh, for your uh, or your HASP drivers, H-A-S-P, uh, you can do that. Find those on Bernina support. If you have Artlink, you should not have to have HASP drivers because you don't have either a product key or a USB dongle uh, that it needs to read. Um, the other thing is sometimes your graphics card can cause issues, and you'll want to make sure that that is at its latest driver as well. Um, I hope this helps you. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if it does. And I will see you next time.